What if I told you YouTube algorithm is not responsible for your low views, your watch hour, and not being able to have subscribers? Neither is your content responsible. The reason your YouTube views are dropping could be as a result of a tiny YouTube setting. Those settings secretly kills your engagement, your views, your visibility every single time you upload upload a video sometimes you post and your videos are not visible to your subscribers to people i never knew about this until i got it figured out then i had to fix it if you want more views and subscribers in this 2025 you really need to turn this on as soon as possible so welcome back to my channel if you see me for the first time i am mommy cheesy so on this channel i give youtube tips on how to grow your channel get more views subscribers watch our if this is what you're interested in please stay to the end of this video you really you have a lot to learn from this particular video and do well to like comment and subscribe so let's get started. My views were dead. I uploaded what I thought was really nice. A good content, a good thumbnail, good title. Everything was nice. You know, there are contents that after creating them, you'll be proud of yourself. Like you will feel like this one, this particular video must go viral. You know that kind of feeling. It took my time to optimize my tags guess what happened after 24 hours just two views not even from my subscribers no engagement and i was like ah, ah, this is unusual maybe youtube flagged my video without me knowing so i had to go back to check it if they actually if youtube actually flagged it without me knowing but i didn't find anything like that i didn't see any copyright stuff for my video so i was like ah, ah. I had to check the upload settings in web studio then i realized that the key feature was turned off i was like wow and because of that it wasn't even notifying my subscribers that i posted a video i've been letting others embed my video let's go to section two why you must upload through youtube web studio now i'm going to give you reasons why you should always upload through youtube web studio you know when you upload from the youtube app you don't always see the advanced settings and those are the critical settings that will make your video go viral so i'm going to mention the the settings and um how to find them because as you all know there are there are features on on web on youtube web studio that are not on youtube studio app so in this video i am going to show you how to how to get those features where to find them and how to set it right you understand because i know most of us we are used to to uploading through the the youtube studio we are posting from if, if you're used to uploading from from the youtube studio you're likely not to see some some of the features you understand most of the features are not there it's so always upload using your browser on your laptop your desktop or mobile through your your phone if you must upload through your phone you need to switch to desktop mode on your phone that's the way you can assess every every feature there so let's move to session three i'm going to show you through a screen record on how to assess these features so what you have to do now is to go to youtube studio from chrome or any other browser that you have but for me i'm using um chrome so you go there then you upload your video you have to upload video so just upload your video they allow it to load but you now go to advanced settings then you scroll down to see more tap on the see more then you scroll down a bit you'll find allow embedding so that's those are the those are the two features that, that i'm going to show you now but i will still explain further I've shown you how to find the features. So I'm still going to explain further for you to understand their purposes. You understand the first one is allow embedding. The second one is publish to subscription feed and notify subscribers. These are the two features that I want you to see now. But I'm still going to explain further their meaning and how to use them. So now I've shown you how to get the, the features now let me explain their true meaning now when you turn on this allow embedding other people like bloggers journalists 
your fans as well can actually share your videos and whatever view they get from those places will count on your youtube video like your videos get played on their pages on their websites wherever they post it and the views still count on your youtube content you still get your watch hour even if they watch it from the blog they watch it from their pages they watch it from their social media wherever they post it it still reflects on your channel if you turn this feature or if you turn this allow embedding off you are blocking outside audience you understand you won't have any audience outside youtube it means you are limiting your video to youtube alone which is not what you need or what you want as a as a new youtuber so always keep that allow embedding on always make sure it's on whenever you're uploading anything or publishing any video so you see this feature publish to subscription feed and notify subscribers this place is also important this feature is also important to to keep it on to leave it on so let me explain what that one means like this is the most important feature especially for new youtubers very important now when you turn this on when whenever you upload any video youtube sends notifications to your subscribers you understand it sends notification to your subscribers that you've uploaded a video it sends email to them notifies them even on their youtube feed they will find your video there whenever they come online and go to their youtube feed they must find your video there so this is what this this settings is all about so it should be on but if you turn this this these settings off your subscribers won't get to, won't get to know that you that, that you posted the video they won't get to know at all because they were not notified the video won't even show on their youtube feed so there is no way they are going to know that you 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 actually published the video youtube will feel like okay this person for you not to own this certain it means that you don't want to promote your video maybe you want to keep it maybe a bit private to yourself you understand so they won't get to notify your subscribers this setting should be turned on always don't forget your upload visibility you see there the rights unlisted um public private and um schedule you understand don't forget because sometimes in between to oversight at times i'll just forget that it's on unlisted until i see it i'll be like ah, thank god that this thing has not gone live you understand so always make sure you check it you always check it before publishing because the video is on maybe private or unlisted and it goes left nobody will see it nobody will see it at all to just be there for you like that so always check it so if you're struggling to grow on youtube you're getting low views low watch hour no subscribers even with your good content always check your upload process they are very important don't don't post or don't publish your videos hurriedly be careful whenever you're doing it do not forget your title your tags hashtags description all of these are important because one missed settings could be holding you back never can tell so just make sure you check all these things and put them in their places so was this video actually helpful so let me know in the comment section if you've been making mistake or you just found out the solution right now like the video drop a comment share it subscribe and turn on the notification bell so whenever i post such helpful videos like this you get to know also i have a video please check it out i have a video a four week plan especially for new youtubers new or small youtubers this video is very important a four week plan you know what to do in the first week the second week you told you that's the easiest way to grow on youtube so thanks for watching and see you in my next video